In the beginning of your career in Holland, in uh, 75, I'd say, there was a lot of publicity. And that publicity always directed you or pushed you in the direction of Bob Dylan. Now I can think that you uh, wouldn't like that, that sort of uh, comparisons. Well, I love Bob Dylan, you know, I was like, I, you know, Highway 61, Blonde on Blonde, that's, that's part of the book, you know, it's like, that's part of the, you know, it's history, and, uh, you know, I always loved him, but it's, uh, it's different, well, we, we play a lot different, you know, at the time, in 75, there was uh, all sorts of, you know, stuff coming out, I was like this, I was like that, I was, you know, one thing or another. So uh happens to everybody when they come out. First thing, when somebody new comes out, the first thing they do is try to, you know, compare them to the next guy or something or the last guy or make him the new this or the old that or, you know, one thing or another, you know. But you don't have much uh, glamour or glitter around you, yet you uh, girls are brought out hysterically out of this hall, uh, taken away in ambulances, these girls. It's, uh, what what's happening to an audience? I don't know. I can't figure that out. You know, that's too crazy for me. You know, it's. Uh, I think they just get excited, <laughs> having a good time. You know, it's funny because I went, I was walking down a street in Chicago, and this girl comes up to me. You know, she's real, just real nice. She's got a big bandage on her chin. She says, Bruce. I says, Yeah, yeah. She says, Oh, I was at your show the other night. I passed out and fell frontwards and you know got six <laughs> stitches in my chin they had to pull me out you know she says it was great <laughs> I, was like, I had a great time she says now i'll always remember the show you know she's got like a little you know i guess a little scar there or something but it was funny you know because i figured she's gonna say i'm gonna sue you or <laughs> like, but she just said oh that was great you had a good time there's a clear change in your albums from uh wild the wild and innocent uh on can you explain me something about that uh, it was a funny thing. It started, sort of started with uh, the first record. With the first record, the Greetings from Asbury Park. Um, I didn't have a band at the time when I made that record. I was playing by myself, you know. And that's a real sort of eccentric kind of record. It's a funny kind of record. And then when The Wild and the Innocent was the first time that I had my band, you know, I had like, hey, I got all the guys back and... You know, cause some of the guys had moved down south, some had moved all over, and I finally had enough dough to get everybody back together and go out and play. And so on that record, you got, there's a sort of, it was like a little celebration of just being a group of people at one time. And like all, a lot of the songs are, there's a lot of people in the songs. There's a lot of uh, different characters. There's uh, a lot of the actions taking place in, uh, crowded you know corners or bars or you know and on the new album darkness on the edge of town has dropped away even more you know more people you know well, there's only one or two left and it ended up a lot with in the last song darkness on the edge of town a guy ends up by himself you know and um you know it was uh there's a funny kind of thing because if you look back you see rosalita is sort of is born to run minus the desperation of that particular moment, you know?